In this video, I want to show you a little bit about the difference between what the student experience is when they are connected to a lesson in classflow.com on the web compared to when they are connected to your lesson in Active Inspire. So in the video, I am logged in to Chrome as a teacher. So you can see my name in the upper right hand corner and logged into classflow.com. But in order for you to see the student side, I opened up Safari and I'm going to connect to the lesson as a student in Safari, two different browsers. All right, so to start here, I just want to note that I'm on the lesson tab and that my lessons are listed on the left hand side under my lessons. And one of the things I can do is click on the edit button and that brings me into what is called builder mode. mode. Um, there's editing tools, but far less complex than um, what you use in Active Inspire. And um, that can be a good thing or a bad thing, but there are many things that you can still do to create content or manipulate content, but it's just not a uh, bazillion tools like in Active Inspire. Notice that when you're in the builder mode, you have a play button. So if I do want to have students connect to the session, I can choose a classroom if I preset up a class with student names. But in this case, I'm just going to choose ad hoc an ad hoc session. And that puts me right into presenter mode. You can see that in the um, upper left hand corner. And this is the point at which I'd, connect, I'd want students to connect to the lesson. So in order to do that, they need a class code. So I can click on this button right here to get the class code. I'd probably write that on a dry erase board. And Terry, that's actually me, is connected. I'm going to refresh, click remove, and refresh that connection. So I'm going to pop over here and start to pretend that I'm a student. I'm at classflow.com student. And I'm going to type in my name. And I got to go back and see the code QQ9L5. And I type that in in order to connect to the lesson. When a student connects to a lesson, they just get a generic, kind of like a nature scene, because you control when and how you um, project the content to their device. So I'm going to go back here, pretend I'm the teacher, click off of that. And here's one example of a type of exercise that you could do conceivably with students. Um, I could just simply send this card to the students by clicking on this button right here. And if I did that in Active Inspire, the students would just see it on their device. They couldn't actually move the objects. Let me go over to the student side. And the difference here is that on the student device, students are actually able to move this content or move these objects. So you could ask a student to do an exercise, whoops, I don't know my odds for my evens, I guess, where they move the even numbers into the, that box and the odd into the other box. And then as a teacher, you could either do the exercise on the board or maybe you ask the students to uh, pair up and compare their answers or um, you walk around and check for understanding. So that is one example of something you could do with um, Classflow on the web. Now, the other thing I want to mention is the ad hoc polling feature. So here's another card that I created. I actually have drag a copy turned on each of these um, numeric values here. And I might say to the students that the glasses cost 363 um, and use the uh, money provided to make that amount of money in with the fewest possible coins and bills. So what I could do is I could send that card to the students and they should see something like this and now they can build that amount of money. Now if I did this again I'd probably make these smaller objects because I really don't have enough room on here but a student would be able to get three dollars and they should be able to then get 50 cents. Oh, looks like I did not make drag, put drag a copy on that one. So, oh wait, yes I did. All right, so you kind of get the idea of what they would be able to do with this and then you could talk about it as a class or do a think pair share or whatever. All right, but now let me show you another way that you could um, uh, utilize this page. Instead of just sending them the card and asking them to manipulate the object, you could do an ad hoc poll. So if I click on here, 
The one that I think is really interesting because this is not available in Active Inspire is the Creative Poll. You'll notice that all these other options are things that you've seen before in Active Inspire. But if I choose to send a Creative Poll, what happens is if I go over to the student side, they get a fresh copy of this page, and now they can actually use these tools over on the right hand side. So maybe what you ask them is write the numbers on top of the new the money that you would use to buy these sunglasses. So for example, if I was a student, I would want, oops, I gotta actually click on the pen, my bad. I would want to have three of these. I would want to have two of these. And I would want to have uh, two of these. And I would want to have three of these. Now there's a submit button and I can click on that to send my answer back to my teacher. So now I got to hop back to the teacher side and notice that, um, you know, there's only one student connected right now to the lesson, but if the teacher wanted to go see the student responses, he or she could do that. And she could actually take one of them um, if she notices one that's correct and she could add that card to her lesson close out of that, uh, the results, and now she could project this for students to compare what they did with this answer that was submitted. So the kind of the ability to interact is just much greater if you are in the classflow.com environment. So um, that's just a little glimmer of what you are able to do. And um, it's an exercise that I encourage you to try um, on your own at home by connecting as a student and as a teacher and kind of playing around with how you would want to run some of these exercises for, to test for understanding for students.